Dear friends, welcome to the Health Seeker, a special episode of our program, because we want to tell you about a research that has brought important results on the effectiveness of Life 120 lifestyle. And with us, we have science popularizer Adriano Panzeroni. Welcome, Mr. Panzeroni. Thank you, and welcome to our viewers. Let's talk about this research right away. What is it? Let's say that I decided I to carry out this scientific study to prove the effectiveness of the Life 120 lifestyle after all the criticism I have received over the years, where precisely the critics were saying and stating that it is not possible to heal with a proper lifestyle. Well, this longitudinal observational research actually proves it. Here you have decided then to do this study and you have locked it up here in the book, Living to 120. The Healing's a book written four hands with journalist Francesco Gianotti. However, I want to ask you right away one very important thing. This title, The Healing's, this is a word that really caused you a lot of criticism, a controversial word. You are right, because actually this book was initially supposed to be called The Testimonies, but then I decided before going to print to call it The Healings, because actually the results that we got with this observational study makes us understand that it really is about healings. So it is important, in my opinion, to call things by their name and not to be afraid, instead of just making claims so that we are not criticized later. Look, you mentioned that it is important to call this book Healings. However, I think it is also important to understand what healings mean to you. Certainly the word healings has to be contextualized because there are diseases that can hardly be called cured. If, for example, we take the case of cancer, which obviously dogmatic medicine tells us that a person can only be defined as cured of cancer if after five years there are still no cancer cells present. In fact, for this reason, even in this study, we did not want to include this pathology. In reality, however, there are so many other pathologies that can be defined as cured because upon the discontinuation of those foods that I recommend, real poisons, people become healthy again to such an extent that they no longer suffer from that pathology. So it is correct to define these problem resolutions as real cures that obviously will be able to return these pathologies again where the person returns to eating what are the typical dishes from Diamia and Rania, such as bread, pasta, pizza, potatoes, rice and legumes. And that caused these pathologies. Look, let's talk right away then about this court. The court means that you have selected 1,000 people. We can see right away the first slide to see how this court is composed of. 565 are women, 435 are men. What do you want to tell us? How were these 1,000 people selected? These people are a good part, all the witnesses who over the years have come to the health seeker, to our program. And then last year I made, actually at the turn of this year and last year, Panzeroni come to dinner with us. It was this tour I made all over Italy where I met more than 5,000 people who follow the Life 120 lifestyle. And out of them, we decided to include 1,000 people who were suffering from at least three diseases. And now let's talk about the effect of Life 120 lifestyle on weight. Normally, as I always say, weight decrease is a pleasant side effect that you have because we all know that Life 120 lifestyle is done to solve diseases, not to lose weight. However, here we evaluated this BMI. First of all, what is it? It is a value that is calculated based on the height and weight of the subject and is used to identify the class of subjects from normal weight to overweight to different types of obesity. Let's turn to this pie chart, which shows us that a court population is composed of 41.5% of women in the category up to normal weight and a percentage of 58.5% of overweight women with obesity of various degrees. We immediately see that the range of women in normal weight goes to 68.4%, while people from various degrees of obesity go from 26.5% to 9.7%. Yes, it is an extraordinary result because we have seen that people in normal weight have increased almost 80%. We have had a reduction instead of 70% of people in the various types of obesity. And this is simply by performing a lifestyle that is not dieting. 
Moving on to the male population, here we see that from 28%, consisting of course of normal weight men and 71.2% of overweight men with obesity of various degrees, we then go to 64.5% of normal weight individuals and from 31.7% we go to 5.1%. This is still an extraordinary result that shows that the male population loses weight more easily. Even we have gone as far as doubling the normal weight people and really minimizing the obese people. Let's quickly look at this slide on weight loss in pounds by both women and men. And we see right away that there is evidence of a reduction in body weight as BMI increases. This shows that as body weight increases, there is clearly an increase in basal metabolic rate as well. So bringing the person back to eating properly causes a weight loss that is certainly higher and in a higher percentage in people who weigh more and less in people who weigh less. We also did slides regarding weight loss over months, so following the Life 120 lifestyle. Here we see three tabs on the female court that tells us just the average weight loss as you follow the Life 120 lifestyle. This shows that those who follow the Life 120 lifestyle actually have a progressive weight loss. Certainly in the beginning it will be greater because you also lose fluids, but over time, up to 36 months, however, you continue to lose excess body fat, unlike many other diets that do result in potential weight loss, but then this phenomenon stops and so you no longer lose weight. This was the female population. We also see the three tabs of the male population. Again, there is this trend. The same. Men tend to lose more pounds percentage-wise, but we see the same progression, even though in the last few months we reduced this weight loss because we see an increase in muscle mass, which then goes to replace the fat mass in the body. These data are really resounding what we read and what we got from this longitudinal observational research, but what should they teach this medicine that, as you call, dogmatic? There is a different pathway of care that you cannot address people's pathology and health just by administering drugs, but let your patient know that proper nutrition is the first therapeutic weapon. Then if ever it is not enough, then you can also administer drugs, but don't do the opposite. So really this longitudinal observational study will teach these doctors that a different pathway is possible, an integrated pathway that can really bring millions of Italians back to health. If we remember these percentages, which I call almost Bulgarian, that is extraordinary results, and we wanted to represent them in the Italian population, we would have the 90% reduction of drugs in Italy, we would have the 90% reduction of the patient industry, and we would have a million healthier and longer-lived people. I want to mention that all these data that we have said, uh, the cards, the thousand cards of our court, are within this book written for hands with our journalist Francesco Gianotti, obviously together with Adriano Panzironi. But I also want to say another very important thing, that all the data in our possession, the telephone records that have been made to carry out this longitudinal observational study, are obviously protected thanks to Life 120. So whoever wants can contact, obviously, the competent authorities and know, obviously, all the data. I thank you, Mr. Panzeroni, for also doing this very important new work that I recommend, obviously, to everybody. I thank you. I thank those who followed us from home and obviously see you soon with the Health Seeker. Thank you.